Sammy, you are blinding me with that highlight. I'm obsessed. Hey guys, welcome back to another Benefit Australia YouTube video. I'm Mim and this is Sammy and today we are talking all about our brand new highlighter. This is Jula La and we have six brand new shades that we are going to break down and tell you the six ways to use our brand new highlighter. I'm so excited. These are full of skin loving ingredients like glycerin, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and sunflower seed oils to give waterproof, transfer proof and sweat proof glow. It's giving like a summery look, but it's not too much at the same time. And there's so many different ways we can use it. So let's go. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> First ways to use our new Jula La liquid glow highlighters is into your moisturizer. If you want that beautiful, no makeup glass skin kind of look. So Mim, I'm going to give you the smooth set moisturizer. And I'm gonna give you the Luna shade in the Jula La. You're gonna mix those together and put those all over your base. <gasps> I'm gonna mix Jula La into my professional primer. So this is gonna give me a primer, glowy base with the original mattifying, pore minimizing appearance that Pore Professional gives us. I've been loving the glass skin trend that's everywhere at the moment. There are so many different ways that you can get this look, but I love mixing it into your moisturizer. It's such yeah, a good it's idea. Yeah, like two steps in one. Now, I'm just gonna show you really close here, when I've got a little bit of the Jula La and a little bit of the Pore Professional Primer, you wanna mix those together. Pore Professional is actually water soluble. So anything that is water based is gonna dissolve beautifully into this and give you a really beautiful new consistency. Your skin looks so glowy already. I know, it really does. So my skin type is naturally a little bit more on the oilier side. So I will always use slightly more mattifying products, but I still want a bit of a glow. And mattifying products can sometimes make us feel a little bit flat. So adding a little bit of glow and dimension will make us feel a little bit more 3D, less flat, and a little bit more of that natural appearance. We're gonna go in with the second deeper shade. This is Lumi, this is the tan deep shade. And I'm gonna kind of underpaint a bit of a bronzy, um, sort of definition moment. Underpainting is huge at the moment too. Huge at the moment. And there's so many different ways that you can do it. And this is really just to give really light um, pops of color in certain places, as well as a really light sculpt. So here I'm kind of popping this on spots where I would normally contour, but remember contouring is really a matte sort of shadow product to create that sculpted definition. Here with that glow, we're creating more of a bronze. So I'm gonna really blend this in and work this well into the skin. You can use your fingers if you want to really sort of pat that and work that into the skin instead of blend it all over. Otherwise a wet blending sponge is stunning. You look so bronzed. Even if you didn't want to add makeup on top of that, especially in summer, you could really just bronze up your face, a little bit of highlighter. Yeah, even like a really, really light skin tint on top of this. Absolutely mix in the Jula liquid highlighters into your foundation for a little bit more of a glow. Now, I've been loving the Dior Forever foundation, which is typically more of a mattifying foundation because like I said, I am an oily girl. So I mix in my Jula liquid glow highlighters so I'm not a flat matte when I've finished putting on my foundation and I'm still getting that beautiful glow come through. I've been using the Givenchy Prism Glow Foundation. I love a dewy, dewy finish. So this one with my Luna Julala is my favorite combo at the moment. Look, I love to mix on the back of my hand as well and really use my finger to warm them together. And then I'm loving at the moment to stippling on with the brush. Just a quick tip for everyone, how much liquid highlighter are you putting into your foundation? What's the ratio for us to mix in? So a third highlighter, two thirds foundation is what I'm loving. The more dewy you love, feel free to add in more highlighter. We've just finished our base foundation and a little bit of mascara and brows, but I'm feeling a bit flat, a little bit 2D. Yes, now how I finished my base being more of an oily girl and liking more of a matte finish, I've gone ahead and powdered and I've added my powder blush and bronzers to give a little bit more sculpt to my face. Now, Mim hasn't done that. Mim loves a little bit more of a dewy finish. At the back of your hand, we're gonna do a tiny little bit of Julola. And I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of Lady Tim. Now I'm gonna mix this together. Like that is so pretty. You can also take a blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in. This is gonna give you that really golden, rose tint, glowy, luminous blush. 
I'm gonna have to add this to my routine. I am such a Benny Tint girl. I will use it every single day, even if I'm not like using a whole lot of makeup either. So I thought you'd love this. Yeah, one. this is so nice. It gives like a sh subtle rosy sheen to the look without being too pigmented either. Which, and don't forget, Benny Tint is multi-use, so you can use it on your lips as well. I'm actually gonna take Cookie, which is another powder highlighter. Remember, I love a powder moment. And I will go with Cookie on the tops of my cheekbones, into my temple, on my nose, my Cupid's bow. So you can see already that Cookie is giving me a beautiful highlight. Let's go a little bit more. I'm gonna take our lighter shade in Jewel Alarm. This is Aurora. This is a fair light shade and a little bit more of that pinky tone. So very similar to Cookie. I'm gonna warm this up on my fingers. What this does is it slightly dampens the highlighter pigments, compresses them, making them extra, extra glowy. And then obviously you can also use this as a traditional highlighter. So on your Cupid's bow, on the bridge of your nose and on your cheekbones as well. Okay, so to recap, well, you can use Julala in so, so many different ways. This can be mixed into your moisturizer. It yes. can be mixed into your primer, yes. into your foundation. You can also use it while underpainting. Yes. Mix it into your Benny tint. Yep. You can use it on top of your highlighter, mix it into your body moisturizer, use it in the traditional ways. We love a glow. We love a glow. <laughs> like this video and comment what other tutorials you'd love to see from us. Don't forget to subscribe and Sammy and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys.